All right. Yeah, I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Um, basically, I got motivated watching uh, Clark Commando 1983 talk about um, wanting to do the um, the Western Front Schlieffen plan, and also that um, Andrew and Mike had uh, commented saying, "Hey, I wouldn't mind trying that someday." I was like, um, "Well, I do have the the Western Front." Uh, map up for my grand campaign stuff, but I don't I've never tried to do any of that bit and I was thinking well, I don't want to do like uh, go over the same bit of carpet that uh, Clark Commando 1983 is doing and so on and so forth So I was like well wait a minute here I've been banging on about Verdun and all that stuff the Battle of Verdun over there So I was like and that this is it's part of the Western Front February 1916 scenario for Devrel Creek, so I was like, hey, why not set it up and see what it looks like at the bare minimum? I still of the opinion in my mind, it's probably not the way I would want to uh, play the uh, that particular battle, especially due to the fact that, I mean, let's be honest, the Battle of Verdun was nowhere near this. I mean, this is the entire Western Front. Um, that's cool. I'm, I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm going to see what it's like. So, and the other good thing was I haven't made counters in ages so it was nice to uh be able to yeah, i just finished uh cutting up the german ones um so that was fun i was like oh, okay I, I have to remember how to do these things i also painted some cubes up uh last week as well and i hadn't done that in a dog's age anyways here we go so you see all these hexes and all these markers so these are the front lines and these are the front line uh sector so that's the front line sector for belgium uh, the British have two frontline sectors here, and you can see that both are uh, here are interposed, I guess, with uh, French troops and all along here. Now, when you go to set up, uh, each side has to set up their uh, units either on a frontline hex, like in their frontline sector, or um, in a hex adjacent to a unit that is in the front line, or uh, one of their headquarters. Uh, holy, so I'm doing the French first. They have an unbelievable, like I'm just not used to this. Uh, like, you know, I'm from the Eastern Front and this is just like a completely different universe of just sheer volume of uh, strength points, number of armies, supply points, engineering units, uh, siege artillery, artillery, like you name it, it's unbelievable. As well, it's it's compressed in such a ridiculously small area compared to what I'm used to. That being said, the French have to reduce 100 strength points from the setup that uh, they uh, place in here. I'll show it, show it to you in a second. Um, so that's one bit. I have to reduce 100 strength points from the uh, uh, in infantry strength points from the French. I can do it any which way I want. This is the neato thing about these uh, snapshot and away you go scenarios with your Valkyrie or whatever rather than starting from the beginning is uh, I've noticed a few, uh, few of these and I'm not used to that again is here you go here's all your whatevers and you get to like mix and match and and start figuring out where I would like to put uh, concentrate things because here we go with the other thing is the stacking limit. The stacking limit uh, in Der Weltkrieg is six divisions or, it, or divisional equivalents um, in a hex. And those divisions are either infantry or cavalry. All right, so it start, it's going to come into play for me when I start looking at what strength points uh, I want to reduce. Do I want to reduce strength points across the board kind of thing and like reduce some of my units? and keep a ton of counters uh, or do I want to shave off some counters because I have a compressed little area and concentrate um, so in other words each counter each unit is uh, maximized for uh, its uh, one of sixth uh, value combat value kind of thing the other thing to remember is that um, you can have an additional three artillery units that do not count on that six. The other thing is, which I find really bizarre, is that uh, engineer, we'll take a look just to make sure I'm not screwing with you. Uh, the engine, engineering regiments, uh, headquarters, do not count for stacking. I, I like to say what? And, and the other thing is to remember is that uh, brigades and that type of stuff are half, uh, half a division count. And it doesn't matter 
if it's a two strength point uh, division or a 10 strength point divi uh, division, they still count as a division. That's why uh, in my um, in my game, uh, the way I'm doing the Hotzendorf divisions, that's the way even though they only have two strength points, I still wanted to have that cumbersome weight that they're going to take up a sixth of a stacking uh, uh, you know, uh, limit on a, on a hex. So that's what I'm looking at. So what I ended up doing was I counted, uh, so there's 31 uh, French frontline hexes and 30 adjacent French hexes. Then uh, I started looking, I tallied up all the strength points. I'm going to take a look, just give you another quickie look uh, at the stacking bits here. So hopefully you can see this. I'll try to, there. So you can see here up to three artillery units may be stacked in the same hex. These are in addition, fortresses, engineering, regiments, headquarters, and any other of those things don't count. Uh, it's, you know, and there it is for half. And it's uh, six. Okay, away we go. And so let's go to this bit here. So this is all, it's just unbelievable. Ten armies. What the he army headquarters? So if you, hopefully you can see all this here. So, uh, and there's an additional three over there. So there's five uh, strength points of brigades. And there's 51 strength points worth of uh, the three strength points over here. 116 and a 55. And what I've ended up doing and I think what it's going to end up happening is I'm going to have to figure out multiple uh, scenario uh, setup options. So what I've decided to do is eliminate uh, the five strength points of uh, infantry brigades. It's like, no, I don't want you. And then I'm also eliminating the 51 of all, so 17 more divisions right here. And then I'm eliminating 44 strength points worth over here. Uh, that shaves off 32 counters. That's what I'm trying to say here. I've got to look at because, for example, if you look at, let's say I take uh, all those six strength point um, infantry brigades that I've got, got 46 of them for Christ's sakes, uh, obviously can't uh, use fractionals. So let's say I can get seven, right? Yeah. Um, seven maxed out hexes of six strength points. So that's 36 strength points per hex if I used six. Uh, strength point units. You get you get the point. I hope. Hopefully, you see what I'm saying. And so I'm looking at it that way. But I've shaved off 32 counters. Can I still have this? That's why I said I've got to look at these multiple things. I'm going to say this. Two days ago, when I, when I was looking at the setup, I was like, "You out of your flipping tree? You need your head red to try to play this game." And I was like, "I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm just going to take a look." But I just little little nibbles. So, you know, like the bite and hold type of philosophy. And uh, now I feel a little bit better. I'm still stop. I'm going to stop. Like this is, you know what I mean? This is like a, um, a diversionary type game. It's not like, a, you know, it's not a, a main thing here. But it's going to be interesting yet again because I'm starting to now think, okay, like I said about the multiple options. The, the other thing is the other player is not allowed to uh, examine my stack. So can I pl be funky? Um, with uh, how I do things. It'll be interesting that way. Uh, uh, then I'm wondering, I'll, uh, I'll say this though, there's a lot of unrealistic aspects from the, uh, let's not, well, I'll trash this thing to bits uh, sometimes. Uh, I still love you. Um, it, yeah, let's, let's just stop there. I don't want to get into that one. But it's, uh, there's good, there's, uh, uh, okay, this is what I'm going to say at the final, final bit. I have so much appreciation or much more appreciation now for people when I see them on a, in a convention playing an uber monster game. Ridic and it's like orders of magnitude way more complicated than this. And uh, wow, just <laughs> impressive, impressive. Uh, but this still impresses the living dickens out of me because I can start seeing... Um, Lots of little interesting um, layers to uh, strategy and so on and so forth, even though it looks god-awful boring uh, combat-wise or whatever. It's because you're not doing it or whatever. But it's like, hmm, there's still, there's still something there. There's still something there. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's going to be lots to tease in. Uh, are you kidding me? This, this thing is like a kick-ass. Oh, it's over there, the Durrell Creek thing. All right. Yeah, let's see. I'll just give it a bit of a sweetie peedy. There we go. All right. That's it. Oh, and by the way, my, my Quartermaster General 1914 came in. Oh, see? That'll be that. Boink. All right. See ya. Hope you're having a great time.